Welcome everyone, a special welcome to my subscribers. Hopefully new folks will become subscribers too. Today we're going to make uh, one of my wife's favorite dishes, chicken parmesan. But we're going to do it in a slow cooker. It's a little different because typically you bake your chicken first, then you do your sauce and your cheese. Uh, today we're going to do it all in one. So let's get started with some chicken breast. What I have here is I've cut these chicken breasts in half, patted them dry, which is why they're laying on that. This is one egg, maybe a tablespoon of milk, um, some Italian seasoning. I'm using this brand, but use whatever Italian seasoning you want. Literally a pinch of black pepper and a pinch of my go-to go kosher salt. All we have to do is let that get in there. And while that's soaking up, we're going to make our coating. Same seasoning a tablespoon, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, one cup of breadcrumbs. These are not flavored breadcrumbs. You are more than welcome to use Italian. One cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And we're going to mix that up. This is where the dish gets its name. This is where the Parmesan comes in. There's an additional layer of cheese that goes onto the chicken parm. Once that is nicely coated, this is going to be more than we'll need. This is okay. I'll let this drain off and then straight in. All we have to do is make sure that we get it coated. I like to pick it up and make sure I get both sides. And all we have to do is take that and lay it right in the bottom. Rinse and repeat, we'll come back and we'll top this up. Our chicken breasts are all breaded with the breadcrumb and Parmesan mixture. And I've laid them across the bottom. That's two chicken breasts cut in half. This is 28 ounces of crushed peeled tomatoes. Right on top. All right, so we've got our can of tomatoes. You can use store-bought tomato sauce too if you prefer. This is the same thing, my Italian seasoning. One tablespoon, and I'm just getting it so that we get a nice consistent flavor throughout the sauce. If you like yours more saucy, feel free to add more sauce. We tend to like ours with just this right amount of sauce. Lid on. Cook on low for five, six hours, probably six hours. We're gonna, we'll do five uh, today. And then we'll come back and we'll put the cheese on, cook it for another 10 minutes, so we'll be back in five. Five hours later, let's take a peek. So I'm just gonna scoop in there and see Looks like it's definitely done. I don't want to disturb it too much because our final stage is here. This is fresh mozzarella. And I'm just gonna lay a couple pieces on. So we get some good melt on there. And knowing that there's another piece in there, I'm just gonna set those in there like that. 10 more minutes on low and this will be ready to go. What I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to go ahead and make some pasta to serve this on top of, and I'm going to make some bread. So, 10 minutes and we'll be back. As you can see, the mozzarella has melted. I have some spaghetti already on the plate. Dig down in here and get one of these chicken breasts out. Looks awesome. And we'll just lay that on top of our spaghetti. Now, my family likes garlic bread, so a couple pieces of garlic bread. And there you have a very easy, low maintenance, but quite tasty chicken parmesan with the spaghetti in this case, but use whatever pasta you like. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like, and give me those comments below. And make sure you come back for the next video. Take care.